So a lot of people might not believe this. They might not believe this. The way I'm looking at you right now, the way that I'm talking right now, how I'm up here, chest open, sexy, flexied up, you might not believe this. I was shy. Am shy? So I'm not shy. I guess I can't be too shy because I'm standing here at a park, people just walking all around right now, not really caring that I'm talking to myself, technically. But I'm talking to you, and you and you and you, and everybody like you or who was like me. Because the only reason I was shy is because I was thinking about everything that was happening before it would happen or as it was happening, which I've grown to learn is anxiety. And we all get anxious, we all get nervous. It's just a matter of whether or not you're going to let that hold you back from doing things that you think might be in your best interest. And for me, it was just I just didn't know how what I would do or say would be perceived. And I didn't want it to be perceived negatively. So I would do nothing and it would be perceived no way. And um, I much rather leave a I would say I'd rather leave a negative impression than no impression. But I kind of would rather leave a negative impression because at least you remember me. It's like I can work my way out of that. But if you don't remember me, you don't know I was there, never knew I was in the room, I might as well have never been in the room. Like, what's the point of even being in the world and existing if people don't even recognize that you're there? You feel me? It's like, at least have an interaction where it could be, oh, I don't know, I didn't really like him that much. All right, cool, now I know you ain't like me that much the first time. Gives me something to work towards the second time. But if the first time you didn't even know I was there, the second time I'm still starting from ground zero. So I might as well have not been there. You feel me? And then also, I realized that people are, like I said, we're all self-conscious. So we're all always worried about how we're being perceived in a certain extent, to a certain extent. But if you walk into a room full of people and there's one person who's just ha-ha, kiki, and talking to everybody, shaking it up, just full of life, smiling and everything, you're going to like that person to a certain extent. And you're going to be like, wow, they're so comfortable, they're so free, ha-ha, I enjoy talking to them, they make me feel lighthearted and happy. You can be that person. You feel me? Just walk into the room and be lighthearted and happy. Speak your mind. Talk to people. Brighten the energy in the room. And you don't have to worry about the rest of the energy in the room or how people are perceiving you. If you can make other people feel better, they're going to feel fine about you. If you can take the focus off of them and put it on something else, they're going to thank you for it. And so I just stopped thinking about what people were thinking. I stopped thinking about even what I was thinking. And I would just be there focused on what I was focused on. Right now, I don't know what's about to come out of my mouth next. I can barely remember the last thing that I said because I'm just speaking from the heart, from the soul. And people can sense that. It's called genuine interactions. And that's one thing that we lack a lot in this world. A lot of time people only speak to be nice or to get something as opposed to actually connect. That's what we are missing a lot is the actual connection. And if you can actually connect with people, they'll remember you forever. And I can say this because I've worked in all types of customer service jobs and positions where I did simple things for people. Carried their bag to the door and looked them in the eye and said, thank you. But oh, he was so nice. Nobody does that. Am I what? Genuine connection. Most people just expect them to get out their face. It, I've seen, literally seen somebody buy something from a person walk away and walk back to the register and the person not remember they just checked out that person because they didn't look them in the eyes they didn't look at their face they didn't even see who it was they were talking to they were just going with the flow stop doing that take your attention outside of yourself and you won't be so worried about what's going on and again this is something that took me years and years and years to understand is all throughout high school i wouldn't talk to people i would be quiet in rooms like just because I didn't know how it would be perceived and I didn't want to come off in a bad light. And it ended up with people thinking I was a snob, I didn't like them, I was stuck up just because I didn't speak. Like, oh, I see him talking to people all the time. I, like, he'd be laughing with a bunch of people. I play sports, so like, oh, he's a jock. Like, it's not that he's afraid. He just must not fuck with us. He don't like us. And he was like, no, nah, I don't really know you. And I wasn't trying to, you know, say, say something that I thought was funny, you thought was offensive. Oh, I just wouldn't say nothing. Like, I didn't want to step on anybody's toes. Like, I know she got a girl. I mean, I know he got a girl. Or I know she got a dude. And I don't really get, get you know, we don't get along. So I don't want to be here kiki ha ha and in her face and get back to him and it just start problems. So I'm just, I was thinking too far ahead from every interaction. Like, people I might never see again. And that's another thing. There's so many people in this world. We live in California. 
we live in Los Angeles, Los Angeles, California. Over a million people live in this city. What are the odds you gonna run into this person again? Not saying you not, because you run into, I've ran into a lot of the same people, I'm not gonna lie. Especially if you're in a certain industry or niche, you're gonna run into people in that industry or niche a lot. But also, you might not ever see these people again, especially walking to a grocery store, walking to a counter or ordering something. Like these people see people who aren't even looking them in the eye every day. So if you say something wrong, they're not gonna remember. If you drop something, they don't care. If your shirt is unbuttoned, they don't care. Your pants is too tight, they not looking. All of us have a million and five things going on in our lives every day. So much so to the point that we're not even necessarily paying attention to what's going on with other people unless they tell us about it. And nobody is just walking around bearing their insecurities out. So. Half of them don't even matter because no one else cares. We care because it's us and it's our life. So if we can get outside ourselves, that's the first step to just getting over being anxious and being shy and being nervous. So I'm not gonna tell you it's easy. It takes practice and it takes being comfortable with yourself. That's the one thing, I had to get comfortable with me. I had to get comfortable with my quirks. I had to get comfortable with knowing that I might think something's funny that other people don't, but the fact that I look at things a whole lot different than people sometimes. I might not see, I don't even say I won't see your perspective, but I might see your perspective and another, and now you think I'm opposing you. It's a no, I'm just thinking bigger picture, and like, I'm not involved, so I'm not taking it personally. And that's another thing, just don't take things personally. If you stop taking things personally, life gets so much easier. If you realize that people are people and they do people things, even if it has nothing to do with you, you don't care about so many other things. You're like, bro, it has nothing to do with me. I don't even really care. If it's not affecting me right now in this moment, if it's not affecting my money, um, I really don't even care. Once you become more comfortable with you, it's so much easier to just walk away from negativity and nonsense and bullshit. Like, it don't matter. Oh. I think that's that's most of what I gotta say. Uh, and if you wanna make this something that's like more easy to do, I'd say just talk to random people. Every day, just make it a point to look one, two, three different people, complete strangers in the eye and say hi. Say what's up, I like your outfit, I like your shoes. Oh, hey, I've never seen you be here before. Or if you out ordering something, but, oh, have you been here before? Do you know what this one is like? Do you like it? see how they respond bro more than likely they'll answer the question oh no i haven't oh yeah this one's really good i really is only gonna be an asshole person who says something smart or don't respond like i don't know i just want everybody to be able to have conversations with anybody because it's really a, a great skill being able to converse with strangers so many people can't do it so you'll always be a necessity if you're able to break that barrier and form personal relations with people in small periods of time, you're gonna be necessary in all business because all business works off of other people, even if it's just other connections. Like I have a company that ships products. Uh, I need a shipping company to ship our products. We have a relationship with somebody because he was talking to so-and-so at X, Y, and Z. Conversation and making personal relations is forever going to be important. I don't care how many AI bots they make because you gotta make the AI bot and then sell it to the company for them to use it. So you gotta be able to have a conversation and interaction with the person with the company you want to sell your AI to so relations are relationships and building relations are going to be a timeless skill set and being an anxious person does not necessarily play well into helping have conversations but learning how to control that anxiety curve and channel that anxiety you'll be dangerous being anxious just means you're excited, you're anticipating. And a little bit of anticipation is good because it gives you that insight to look towards the future and to be able to plan it out. But once that, in, that looking towards the future begins to hinder you and hold you back from acting in the now, the anxiety is no longer good. Anxiety is cool because it helps us plan to mitigate the stress and anxiety. But if you start living in a state of anxiety, you're just killing yourself. Stop it. Stop it. All right. Oh, I said a lot. It's your boy Chuck Diesel, the Lone Wolf. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this walk. Let y'all get to it. You know where to find me. Chuck Diesel, TLW on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, 
whatever platform I'm not talking to you on right now, it's the same name on whatever other platform you want to find me on. Check it out. Peace.